Oh, look, a boring intro. Hey guys, I'm back with another installment of Ask My Regular Ass. Apparently, y'all thought that shit was the bomb. Like, legit, the best thing since sliced bread. And I've been getting a lot of messages in my inbox asking me for advice, and so I... The question comes from a guy, I think, or a lesbian. I don't, I don't really know. They're asking me about their, their girlfriend and what they do. So, here we go. I have a question for you about my relationship. My girlfriend gave me nothing for my last birthday and then pretended she forgot. What? She's been doing nasty, crazy things like that the whole relationship. She's so angry and unbearable to be around. But I also took out a loan for her house. So my question is, how should I break up with her without getting screwed, either with rumors or financially, and etc.? Okay, first of all, this bitch ain't get you nothing for your birthday. And then she tried to say she forgot. And this shit is normal procedure? What? Okay, give me this bitch's phone number because I make sure she'll really forget. Go ahead. I, I got it open. Let's let's go. No? Um, legit, I don't think that anybody should have to deal with being with a partner who clearly doesn't respect them or has any concern for their feelings. And I'm honestly glad that you are taking the steps to get out of what seems to be a draining relationship. If you are in a relationship where your needs are not being met or you are being deprived of common decency by your partner, there are one of two things that need to happen. One, if you guys really want to salvage the relationship, you need to seek some sort of couples counseling where you can talk out your problems and really discuss what's going on with a mediator, a moderator, and somebody who is, you know, skilled in fixing this shit. You also might want to get counseling individually because some of the issues in your relationship might actually be coming from personal problems that you need to solve on your own. And number two, you really need to think about removing yourself from the situation, even for a short period of time, for however long you need, if the relationship is mentally physically or emotionally stressing on your life a lot of people don't realize that aside from just messing up your happiness stressful and draining relationships like that can really mess with your physical health and if you don't really have anything keeping you in the relationship such as children marriage or other obligations it is best to take that time off that you need or leave the relationship altogether because your health is the most important as for your question, in any relationship, there is a possibility of getting screwed over when you try to break up with somebody, and that possibility is multiplied when you're dealing with somebody who is vindictive, manipulative, and might try to seek revenge just because you are breaking up with them, and since you say she's kind of mean, I can only go off of what you're saying, it, it's a very large possibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah very large. The best thing that you can probably do in this situation is try to make a clean break and just be prepared for the backlash. As for the rumors in the situation, it's kind of a hit or miss. The people who really matter and who really know you in the relationship won't believe the rumors. And the people that do believe the rumors, they don't deserve to be your friends in the first place. Now to the money issue. You took out a loan on her house, man! See, this is why I am so against making large monetary commitments to people when you are in a relationship and not married. Because at least when you're married, you have a better chance that if you split, you making it out with half, motherfucker. That probably just made me sound like a gold digger. I promise you I'm not, but... In all honesty, if you split and it's not something y'all built together, if this was specifically your money or your possessions, you, you gonna want that shit back. I don't really know much about loans. I'm only 23 and I'm still dealing with school loans that I don't understand, so mortgage and all that, I, I don't fucking know. But if you took out the loan, shouldn't all that paperwork be in your name then? And if all that paperwork and shit is in your name, don't that mean that that's your house? I mean, isn't your name on the lease, the deed, the mortgage papers? I, I mean some of that shit because if so sounds like that bitch is homeless but for the overall situation what you really need to do is sit her down and explain to her why you want out of the relationship it's important to have closure in any relationship no matter how bad it is you need to have closure you need to express why you need to leave and why this shit is over because it's it's over but after that just go don't argue or anything and most importantly don't discuss anything if she tries to get all crazy and out of pocket if she's not being respectful and handling the situation like an adult I mean it's cool to cry or whatever but if she's not handling the situation like an adult explain to her that you're just not gonna have this conversation with her until she can sit down and be rational because the last thing you're gonna need when you try to go to court and dispute this loan and get this house is to go down for a domestic violence charge <laughs> Really, though. All right, that's all the advice I have for this situation. Now, I really hope it helped you and it helps you get a better perspective on what you should do. If anybody else has any advice for him or any comments on the situation, please leave them in the comments below. 
Um, other than that, if you like this video and you like my little advice segments, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it on your Twitter and your Facebook. I said I'm going to try to do this advice thing a little bit more regularly, so if you have any advice questions that you need answered, please send them to my YouTube inbox. I actually think it's over there. Um, yeah, and I'm going to try to get to everybody's question, and no, not everybody's question is going to get answered on video, but like I said, I will try to get to them. Other than that, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. You can like me on Facebook. I also have a Google Plus and a Tumblr. All that information will be down there. You can send me mail if you want. Why am I talking so fast? Because my camera's about to run out of time. And don't forget to buy a t-shirt. I gotta go. Bye!